Hey y'all, welcome back. We are at Outward Bound and uh, all of the top 10 females and males have already come through. We'll be showing you some of that footage now. And after this, we're gonna be headed towards Twin Lakes. And that will be this video and then we'll head to the finish and we'll be done. here is that the morale seems really high. Everybody coming through here has big smiles on their faces. People are dancing. Um, nobody's like super, super rushed or angry or any of that. Everybody seems like they're in a good mood. The sun's come out. It's starting to warm up. The weather is really nice now. Um, so I don't think it could be a better race day for everybody out there. So I'm happy to see everybody being happy and racing.
right, it is 9.40. We've got four men that have already come through uh, Twin Lakes. Cody Reed is still leading. Anton is creeping his way back into the top five. And um, Ian is looking really calm, cool, and collected. I am chilling out here at a different place at Twin Peaks. Like I said, the, a lot of the boys have come through. Men, men. Uh, if you're doing Leadville, you're men. I'll give you that. Um, and so I've heard a lot of talk, a lot of talk amongst the spectators that Cody Reed's gonna blow up. Cody Reed's gonna blow up. These guys are going too fast. Um, so we'll see if that happens, but that's kind of the talk of the town right now here at uh, Twin Lakes. Looks like Ian Sharman and Anton Kropichka, they came by right around the same time through here. They looked really steady, really calm, cool, collected, um, peaceful. They had that zen in their eye. So um, I think they're going to, they've got what it takes to hit the back half hard, I'm sure. But um, we'll see. The gap between Cody Reed and Ian and Anton is... Not super significant in a 100 mile race, but it's there. <laughs> 